printing press and uh, used to do it all herself. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What inspired him to do Gates of the Mind? What, uh... Well, that was done after he had passed. Oh, it was? Okay. Yeah. He had all the things that he written up and they just took them and put them, put them together and uh, had this uh, printing press put it out. Where, is it possible to get a copy of that stuff? Oh, Mary has lots of copies oh, over really? there. Oh, yeah. Mary is, was Mary with Joe? Joe's, Joe's wife, yeah. I'd like to read it, I'd like to read it sometime. Oh, they, they've got a lot of copies left. They had, I don't know how many they had printed, but. What, what year did your father pass away? Uh, 1961. Right about when my grandfather died. 1960. 1960, yeah. Exactly when my grandfather died. Is that right? Died in 1960 yeah. Also. Yeah. Um, yeah, he was 83, and Rex Chisholm, I don't know, remember, he was editor of Muskegon Chronicle, he was a friend of his, and he used to come up to see him lots. And he said he was up one time, and he said, Well, Joseph, he says, you'll probably live to be 100. Dad said, oh, no. He says, I'll never see my 84th birthday. So he knew, uh, did yeah. he have any sort of illness? Uh, long no, time no, just, just, uh, just a heart wet, I guess. It was. And he knew it was coming. And he was and coming. Was before and that was about, oh, six, eight years before he turned out. And he died in, uh, he was 83. He would have been 84 the following February 22nd. That's when he was born. And he guessed that, I mean, said that six Just, or seven years before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. uh, who were some of the most notable characters that you could remember around White Lake and Sylvan Beach? Uh, people that impressed you and your father, or you? Uh, the, any memories of any people that were... Uh, well, there's, yeah, he had quite a few friends, of course, around there. I was the father of the beach is concerned. Uh, Frank Adams and he were very good friends. And uh, of course we had most of the people on the beach we knew. Hartman, George Hartman, Van de Venders, and McDowell's. We were close friends of McDowell's. There, he's, Bob McDowell used to come up and stay with us lots of times. <coughs> and of course Peg we still, Peggy, Van de Venders. Is a McDowell, and right. we've uh, knew them when they got married. When he married Vanderventer, Bill Vanderventer, way back in teens. <laughs> the teens. I think it was. And you was attended he, that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have any memories of the uh, Sylvan Beach Hotel? Oh yes, yeah. What are some of the memories of that? Gosh, that's too much. We never, of course, went over there, never stayed there or anything like that, but... Uh, never had too much to do with it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, what about the... Do you have any memories of the ferry across the channel? Oh, sure. We used to go use it a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. Now, how long was that in use? Oh, that was... It was several years, because uh, when we go to the club, or come over to the beach, we would uh, usually save driving around 12 miles. And uh, oh, Bob Diamond, I think, was the one that used to run that. And uh, that was very convenient. Nice. What did that cost to go across, uh, bring your, your car across? God, I think it was 50 cents, something like that. Dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the fishing boats? Of course you remember. Yeah. Them. yeah. How many, at the peak of the fishing fleet, how many boats were out there down there? Oh, gosh. I don't, I wouldn't be able to say correctly. Uh, I know there was three of them that I used to know, the Specklemeyers and the uh, had one and uh, Oh, you mean I would? The, the, yeah. The, oh, the fishing. Yeah, the personal. Oh, I see. Uh, the, the oh, yeah. I, I think there were three. I think there's. I think there were three different groups down there, as I recall. But uh, my memory's getting a little bit. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> it happens. 
I have a trouble remembering names and things that no I used problem. to have a tip of my tongue and now oh. no problem. Uh, uh, the uh, do you notice any changes in the social aspects of things uh, since you grew up here are, for instance are there more parties more cocktail parties more socializing uh, Good and bad. Uh, any st social things that you look at, mores, whatever it be, anything, uh, uh, any insight, wisdom about it. Uh. I, as far as I'm concerned, I think there there's less. As far as I know, because we used to go to a lot, lot more than we do mm -hmm. do now. Now whether they they have some of their own that uh, we don't know about, which is certainly perfectly all right <laughs> but uh, yeah but uh, there used to be uh, as far as we were concerned more more friendly atmosphere it seems to me there was mm -hmm. would that yeah. be more like today we're more into the money power and prestige type of thing uh, whereas people were more down to earth would you or is that what you saying? yeah I'm saying that they were they were more uh, uh, not only friendly, but they just like to be closer together. Yeah. Now they seem to have drifted apart. Everybody seems to have drifted apart, so they don't they don't have that that personal contact that they used to have. At least uh, from what I have seen, seen yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, just but in your lifetime, but, you know, as we talked about before, the crime and mm -hmm. things like that. You see a, a kind of a downhill slide on the on the personal on the yeah. people. Right. Situation. That's right. And, uh, your father, did your dad go to church? Uh, no, not to. Uh, Any official? Not regularly, no, not regularly. We had a little chapel up in his office, the back part of his office. And uh, we had a chapel in there. We had all decorated with arbovita around the sides. And we had an organ there, a little, little organ. And that's still there. And pictures are still there. Yeah. Well, that's certainly more than uh, going to church and, uh, once a week. Is that <laughs> what you have when you're uh, building? Is uh, certainly that's neat. And would your dad just go in there and sit? And, uh, yes, he's sometimes good to meditate and sing, and we sometimes we'd go in there and play the organ a little bit and thing and just talk and like that. But did uh, he ever talk to you about Supreme Being? Or? Oh yes, but his yeah. Views were his was a supreme being. Yeah, so the money we had to. Uh, the uh, uh, Sylvan Beach fire. Do you remember any of the fire that took place that burned down? The, do you have any uh, memories of that? Yes, I remember. I don't uh, remember. I don't do any details, but I remember that they uh, when it, when it did burn down. Burn down. Yeah. Do you have any memories? What was the worst storm that you can remember at White Lake? Do you have any particular one that was a specific memory? Uh, let's see. We had a couple of good ones. I wouldn't. I wouldn't remember the dates or anything like that, though, mm -hmm. on them. Uh, This one that I mentioned about when the uh, oh yeah the that was one of the, one of the worst, worst storms, storms we've had yeah you know we hear a lot about uh, Reverend Dowie or you hear you don't hear as much anymore do you do you remember him at all I don't know but Dad Dad knew him yeah did he ever tell you any stories about him or what he's oh uh, some things about him and all. Uh, he never uh, associated too much with him. He, uh, I think, the first time he, he met him, uh, we were had horses at that that time, and we had a real real fine trotter horse. And Dad was going downtown to get something, roasted and all. And uh, he came out. Now he came out with his his horse. And uh, just as they came by, and he tried to get ahead of Dad, you know, and Dad let ours go, 
and he ran away from him. He just left him behind. <laughs> and when he finally did catch up from him, he says, oh, I want to buy that horse, he says. He says, I'll give you, seven, I think he said $75 or something like that for him, which is a lot of money, though. Know, Dad says he's not for sale. <laughs> and I think that's the first meeting Dad had with him. With the Reverend. <laughs> yeah. Did he ever tell you, did but, uh, he ever tell you any stories about how he'd go out in the lake or anything? Do you remember any uh, stories of him walking on the lake? <sighs> no, there was talk about it, uh, but Dad never believed it, of yeah. course. And uh, he used to have his choir out there, and it was pretty impressive as far as the uh, people singing and so forth. And that. How big was the choir? I don't recall, but... Um, 25, 30, something like that. I would say at least that, yes. Yeah, at least yeah. that much. Yeah, and they would get up on there. There was a sort of a, a step down in the ground in front of there, you know, and they would be up on one of these plat these flats, and uh, they'd sing out there, and it was real pr impressive, I guess. But pretty too. Yeah, probably. pretty. Yeah. yeah. But did uh, you ever remember did they hearing them? No, I never. I yeah. never went. I was pretty small then. Small, yeah, yeah. Yeah, at that point. You remember the Carol Wynne coming in? The boat yeah, play, right? yeah, that, sure. Do you have any memories of that? That's right. Yeah, you, yes, I do. Uh, did you, did your dad out. take that ever? Uh, I think we took it once. But uh, people on the beach used to use it all the time coming up for the weekend, you know, and we'd yeah. be over there then. A lot of times we'd be over there when the boat came in and left and all. Oh, you'd be over I was there impressed, waiting yeah. Waiting for it, watching it come in, all the people getting off. Of course, we knew most everybody, you know. If the, yeah, McDowell's and the Vanderventers and the McFadden's and and uh, oh, the whole group of there. A lot of them used it every weekend. Uh, what was the? Um, uh, of course, you were a sailor that was extraordinary as preferred. You were uh, <laughs> incredible. Uh, what was uh, other than yourself? Who were, who were the best sailors that you can remember on White Lake, male and female? Well, uh, the females I don't know too much about because we didn't have too many sailing at that time. And uh, but Alvin Youngquist was one of the best, I think. And uh, Jack Guerin, Tommy Guerin were both good. And uh, uh, let's see. McMur uh, McMurray, he was good, and Van Taggart was good. Uh, gosh, there's a couple from Grand Rapids that uh, I can't think of their names now. They were Baxter. One was named as Baxter. Howard Howard Baxter. Uh, of course, uh, Pillinger was good. Harry Pillinger? Yeah, and Pillinger was real good. He was a sailor sea boat. Okay. And uh, he was good in that. Um, Gaff sea boat? Yeah. 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 In fact, uh, the first Western Mission, Michigan uh, Association regatta that was held, and I told you about Muskegon, that I went to, down and won. I think Harry won the sea boat, and George Cannon won the e boat. Of Cannon Foundry? Yeah. Oh, I'll be darned. In fact, George called me yesterday. He wanted to know how I was doing. And, you know, My God. It had me a long time. And yeah, I knew his it. daughter very well. Yeah. Katie Cannon was uh, one of his daughters he used to date me. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's great. Yeah. I hadn't heard his name mentioned from around here, but that's good. He was. Yeah, he was. Did you ever used to go to the arcade? Do you remember the arcade? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what did you do in the arcade? Did you go in and buy food or? Yeah, go in and have a Sunday ice Sunday cream Sunday or, or something like that, or buy some something we needed for there. And, right. Yeah. yeah. Was, now the Sundays were in the separate. There was the Kern store. Yeah. And then the Sundays were more over into the drugstore section. Right. Right. Pickens Drug. Do you remember who worked the drugstore section? Oh. Do you have any memories of people? Gosh, I I don't. 
I just can't remember yeah. their names now. That's, yeah, so that's, that's a long time ago. Time ago. <laughs> yeah, I've never even seen the arcade room. Gone. Oh, that was born, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, were you, were you active in the uh, Junior Yacht Club? No. No, I was... Uh, no, I was 20... 21. Oh, yeah. 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 I used to help the one of the kids once in a while, the juniors, you know, when they wanted little advice or something like that, but outside of, we were, in fact, I was honorary member of the, of the juniors for a while there because of helping them out, and they made me an honorary uh, member of the juniors. But actually, I wasn't in there. Oh, that's neat. But, that's uh, you're, uh, you're a brother Joe. What, is yeah. it, what, 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 was, what was he involved in? Uh, he wasn't uh, too interested in sports. Of course, he sailed. He was, I'd say, he handled, a, he and Jack handled the light sails for me. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's never been that much interested in sports for some reason. I don't know if I, uh, yeah. I was too interested and he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my mantle downstairs, I've got, trophies in ten different sports. Oh so, you know, I was <laughs> interested in yeah, I ran boxing, track, and field. Boxing, low. track, yeah. Oh, Bowling and golf. I still play golf. I still shoot my age or better. Yeah, I heard you're quite the golfer, I was told. You're a pretty good golfer. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's considering. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I won and got basketball and baseball. I used to pitch baseball, baseball team and Bowling, I had quite a few trophies in bowling, and uh, and I got him an archery rifle. I shot when I was in the army. We had to make a test once. They take out the entire field. There's going to be a shipment overseas, and everybody had to go out because a 20% had to qualify, and shoot at least make a score of 120. 200 was a, was a perfect score. They had to at least qualify with 120. So everybody had to go out and shoot 100, 200 yards. So we all went out and shot. I shot the highest score of the entire field. What'd you shoot? 185. That's awful good. And uh, I got a extra trophy for that. And then they uh, had a one time with pistols, and I shot a perfect score in that. At, 50 feet. <laughs> yeah. and I got so I got a trophy in that. And, um, yeah. Perfect score. I'll be so yeah, you were uh, very good. You had good eyesight. Uh, wow. I shoot. Used to hit bottle caps thrown in the air. So uh, <laughs> you know, I've been shooting a lot. <laughs> yeah, I got. I used to love to shoot. <laughs> Who were uh, who were your peers growing up here? Who were the people you you would hang around with when you were growing up? play with and do whatever you... Oh, gosh. Uh, most of them are gone. Most of them are gone. Yeah. Do you have any, can you like Buell Harris used to have Buell shoes. He used to be my hunting partner and all. And, and uh, used to do a lot of hunting and fishing together. And they, He had a, with a group called the Fin and Feather Club up on the river and used to go up there quite a bit. And, uh, oh, let's see, who else? Bob McDowell, we used to play tennis with Bob McDowell quite a bit. Were you ever on those games over there? I guess they were quite a, quite a <laughs> tennis uh, show uh, down there on the tennis courts with the McDowell band of vendors and all the people. Did you ever play I used, I used to play with, I didn't, I didn't enter the tournaments. But right almost close to it, uh, Bob had a friend named George Lott, who was a world's doubles champion. And he had him up here with guests, and we went over and played one time and had a quite, a, quite a good... How'd you do? Really, uh, pretty good. Pretty good, okay, <laughs> good for you, good for you. Yeah, but uh, I never really got into their term because I figured that was for the beach, you know. And, yeah. And I didn't want to butt in on it, so. Yeah. 
Did you ever play in any of the baseball games over there? Uh, once or twice when they were just just off the playing. Pick, no yeah, tournaments or anything, just playing, yeah. I, I pitched in the, in the Army in the Selfridge Field. We had six, 16 baseball teams there, and my, my team won the championship there. And I won ping pong championship, Selfridge Field. Well, you should and, have been uh, a fighter pilot, probably. <laughs> I love to fly. Okay. Oh, I'd rather fly than drive a car any day. Yeah. I feel safer in it. I used to do anything in it. Yeah. <laughs> well, planes fly if they aren't jets. So you have a little safety factor. That's right. You, know? you can land them almost any place anyway. and anywhere. Yeah. These people that are afraid of small airplanes, you know, they get on a jet. So. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, what you said you took uh, 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 Elliot uh, sailing Ro Roosevelt. Do yeah. You, do you have any memories of that, or was he nice? Was oh yeah, he was seemed real nice. Was that just a nice. one encounter you had with him, or did you have more? Uh, I think a couple times he came up, and I take we took him out in the e boat, saying let him let him sail it. He got a kick out of that too. Oh, wow. And he seemed a real nice chap. Real friendly, yeah. real nice. Yeah. Were the Secret Service around uh, guarding him? Uh, I didn't know it if they you were. You didn't notice no, it? No, they weren't visible. Yeah, they weren't visible <laughs> at the time. That's all right. Yeah. What, uh, you know, something I, I've never really... Lion's Den, do you... Do you uh, why is Lion's Den there? What was the history and back of lions and the waterfall and writing their name and the, the lawn and everything? Do you remember the people at all? Or? Uh, no, I know that Dad was like that. He was thinking about buying that way back in the early 1900s. And uh, but he said no. He said he was he was, go he was going to make that really something. It was that falls, you that falls. He said he would have his electrical supply and everything else. He could run off that, you know. No. But uh, he had his mind on this other what he wanted. What did he yeah. envision this? And yeah. That's that's what he wanted. Right. Do you remember Al Pack? Uh, yes, vaguely. I didn't know him too well, but I knew. I knew him. Yeah, I, knew, I have met him, but I didn't know him too well. He was. You said you knew Frank Adams. Oh yes. Do you have any memories of him or any stories of Frank Adams? Did you run into him when you were out in California ever? Hollywood? Uh, no, not uh, when he was out there. We weren't. Uh, I never ran into him out there. But uh, they used to come over our place quite a bit, and we'd stop over and see them. And they were Dad and him were real good friends in it. And uh, we used to work with him when they he put on shows, of course, put on the Jinx over there. Mm -hmm. We would always always help him out. We so used, so so you used to work on the Jinx. So. Oh yeah, we used to make most of the scenery for the shows. Who who was that? You? Dad and Dad and I and Joe, yeah. And uh, help with anything they want over there. Sometimes they, I've been in a couple of them, and a couple of times I played in a band uh, for them, and they what were sure. What you play as an instrument? Uh, oh, I play. I used to play ten different instruments, but uh, mostly uh, main ones. Well, when I was in the army, I played drums in the marching band. I played saxophone in the. Uh, Orchestra, and I played piano in the in the dance band. But uh, I used to fuss around with everything. <laughs> everything. That's something like very talented. Very talented. <laughs> well, I've uh, yeah, I like music. Any of your favorite chances or numbers that you remember or skits? Yeah. Gosh, there was quite a few of them in the old days. Used to have them just every year. And. Uh, I can't pinpoint any any one. I know they were all in, enjoyable, and they all were a lot of fun. And people over there were very cooperative and all. And uh, it was work, but it was fun work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the way jinxes are. Yeah, they're all. Uh... Did your dad ever? Uh, it was psychic. But did, did he ever get into magic too? Did he ever? Uh, uh, do magic tricks or things like that? Oh, he used to do a few of them, but the future nothing really uh, that he would advertise for, you know. 
you need to do some sleight of hand stuff, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah but. Uh, How did he discipline you all? Gently or? Uh, yes, mostly. He did, did only would talk. He would talk, yeah. Explain why this and why that. And so all. Very and, and uh, yeah. But uh, he was a very considerate person. Sounds like yeah. very much in tune. Yeah. In harmony with things. That's right. Maybe that was part of his ability and power. Well, Mr. Sedoni, I want to thank you very much. I really don't have any more questions, but I well. want you to. To know that if anything you want to add, just pick up the phone and call me at my parents' house, Courtney. Oh, thank and you very I'm much. More than happy to come back. And uh, if you think of anything, maybe you want to show or you have something that comes to your mind, <laughs> feel feel free to call me. And uh, thank you very much for this wonderful trip in. Well, you and that's your that's great. And Joe. I'm so glad to do it. Well, it's certainly something that I'm glad <laughs> you did. I think it needs to be put down on record. <laughs> You can't, do, you, do you have any other, what was the most remarkable thing your dad ever did to you, do you think? I mean, I mean, not to you, but the most remarkable thing that he did. I think the most remarkable, I mean, the most outstanding thing was his desire to help people and to make things better and uh, to help the downtrodden or anyone that was in trouble. And to do it, uh, he didn't have the money to do any life financially, but he says he would help them to do it for themselves. It means more, he said, if you do it for yourself, than if I give it to you, it's gone. Yeah. Just the so, bottom line, a very that's passionate. Right caring man who thought more of his fellow man than he did of himself. That's right. And always would do everything he could in his power to help others. That's right. It's like the old thought, if I give you a fish, you eat for the day. If I teach you how to catch fish, you can take care of yourself for the rest of your life. Well, we certainly don't Just have example. a great many men like that. Left. No, we sure don't. We certainly need them. That's right. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Art, for your time. Oh, okay, Joe. Fish. I'm glad to, glad to. I hope I've Giving you something that's worthwhile for something. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you have. It's a... Okay. Let's see how we can do this. This is the best way for you. Maybe like that. And you can just turn and kind of read the names off. Okay. Cecil B. DeMille. Cecil letter from Cecil B. DeMille. All right. That's Joan Crawford. Joan Crawford. Letter from Joan Crawford. A couple of them. Doug Fairbanks. Douglas Fairbanks Jr. Doug Fairbanks Jr. Sr. Okay. Doug Fairbanks Sr. Gene Herschelt. It's a Herschel Lifetime Achievement Award for Right. That's great. Jack Holt, Lois Wilson, Betty Thompson, the wife of James Cruz, the director. Wow. Ernest Torrance. Ben Lyons, Lila Lee, Janet Gaynor, hmm? William S. Hart. Wow. Joan Blair, Blaine, radio star of Valent Lady. Reginald Pohl was a 
Shakespearean actor. actor. Joan Lowell. It was James Cruz. Dorothy Osner. She was the girl for James Cruz. Jesse Bonstell. Bonstell Playhouse. George Bancroft. Charlie Chaplin. There's you to the left of Charlie Chaplin. And your my brother, father. my father, my mother, and Jesse Bio DeCastris and Meredith Byers. This is at uh, Charlie Chaplin's studio in California. Charlie Chaplin. Jack Gilbert. General Marshall. George C. Marshall. Marshall. George Chief of Staff. Uh, Paul Wing and Anna Nielsen. Basil Rasp Rathbone. Schaffner. Leopold Stakowski. Mm -hmm. Anna Mae Wong. Picture and letter. Warner Baxter, I'm sorry to say, has been taken out. Sophie Tucker. And Sophie Tucker, friend of the visit here many times. Helen Monday. Silent Street. Script girl for James Cruz. Jesse Bonstell. Bonstell Playhouse. George Bancroft. Charlie Chaplin. There's you to the left of Charlie Chaplin. And your my brother, father. My father, my mother, and Jesse Bio DeCastris and Meredith Byers. Wow. This is at uh, Charlie Chaplin's studio in California. Charlie Chaplin. Jack Gilbert. General Marshall. George C. Marshall. Marshall, George Chief of uh, Staff. Uh, Paul Wing and, and God. Anna Nielsen. Basil Rasp Rathbone. Leopold Stakowski. Mm -hmm. Anna Mae Wong. Picture and letter. Warner Baxter, I'm sorry to say, has been taken out. Sophie Tucker. And Sophie Tucker. Friend of the visit here many times. Helen Monday, Silent Street. 